What's up guys, it's Trevor with Embers. Today we are settling a debate. I guess not really a debate, but people want to know what the difference is between the Blaze LTE um, and the Blaze Pro Series. I'm going to tell you what sizes they're available in and we're going to break these grills down top to bottom. Let's go through them. Let's go. All right, couple things. If you're in the Denver, Colorado area, come to our showroom. You guys can see these products firsthand in person. If not, we'll include links on our website. You can just buy them right on our website or call and talk to our sales staff. Do it that way, you know, whatever you want to do. Uh, follow us on YouTube, subscribe, hit all the like buttons, uh, smash the TikTok buttons, you know, follow us on TikTok, do all that stuff. It's super, we're super entertaining bunch here, so make sure you do that. All right, oh, last thing, we're in Jordan 1s. Uh, they kind of have this cool little reflective on the toe and the back, pretty slick. Not OG colorway, but I like them. All right, should we start with the LTE first? All right, so this is the LTE. They do sort of make a builder grade series below that. We don't really sell those that much though. We sort of start with the LTE. So we're just gonna break down the LTE and then I'll tell you the upgrades and what's different about the Pro and then you can decide at home if you think it's worth it. All right. So first things first with the LTE, you can see we have exterior knob lights and then we have interior lighting as well. That's gonna be standard on the LTE grill. This is the 40 inch. So it does come one size smaller, which is the 32, basically a four burner and a five burner. So this is the five burner, plus you get a rotisserie burner, but no rotisserie. That's kind of annoying. Um, but you know, that's where you're kind of getting for the price point. Warming rack is removable. Also, I've done a video on this before, but it's been a couple years, so I thought I'd refresh it and update it. We do get sort of these triangular cooking grates, which are pretty cool. They're flat on the bottom and then pointy on the top. The flat on the bottom has covers more surface area, supposedly better heat retention, and then the pointiness gets you that little, uh, nice little sear. So there's the cooking grates. Okay, and Blaze does not use ceramic briquettes. They sort of use these little heat deflector thingies. I don't know what they're called, but I personally like these. Blaze is one of our best selling grills and it's because of the way it's designed. It's designed really, really well. This being one of the things I really like, unless your ceramic briquettes are reversible. <coughs> Heston, <coughs> um, I don't really care for the ceramic briquettes too much, but so I really love this feature that Blaze has and we're gonna show you the differences here. Now the thing is, as you can see, they do have a divider in here. So let's take these dividers out. I'm just gonna basically strip this grill down. Now these dividers help with uh, zone control. And you can see they're, they're a little short. I don't know if they're gonna do a ton, but essentially give you zone separation. So if you, let's say you wanna put an infrared burner in here, you could sort of separate that part of the grill, keep it super hot, and then have your regular burner on low if you needed to cook low and slow on something else. Which that brings me to the point is, you can buy a drop in infrared burner if you wanted a sear station in this grill. So here's their burners. So they're cast stainless steel, and this is a very popular burner configuration. You will see this in several grill brands, and the reason you do is because it works. It's a very good burner. So it's sort of like a top hat, not a top hat, just a regular hat, like a lid that covers your burner ports, which helps protect them. And then being that this is cast stainless, these are basically indestructible. So they're awesome burners for what you get. And then the burners are connected here. So this is always nice in case the wind were to blow one out, you sort of have these connectors to keep them going um, if your burners are on. And then we do have a matchlet option if for some reason your igniters aren't working. And they are gonna be piezo spark igniters, which is nice because those are pretty reliable too and it only takes one hand. So that's the Blaze LTE. Should we get into the Pro and talk differences. All right, everyone loves the Pro. All right, first things first, let's talk cosmetics. It is a taller grill, which I'll get into in a second. The lid is taller. And then you can see our control panel is totally different. On our LTE, we sort of have, um, it basically goes right off the top of the grill and then comes out at an angle. Versus this, we sort of have this lid or this belly bar. I'm a little tall, so my belly doesn't sit right on it, but uh, this belly bar is really nice, actually. I think it looks really attractive, and then our control panel is flat. Um, 
Our grease tray system is about the same on the two. And then our knobs are a little bit nicer. I think the knobs look better on the Pro, don't you, Chris? Yeah. A little bit. So cosmetically, you're getting a better look. It's a beefier overall look, but really the difference is on the inside of this grill. So let's do that let's show you. First things first, you can see we have a spit rod. So we get a rotisserie standard with the Pro. So right there, you're already talking, you know, $200 value. I mean, if you buy a spit rod, rotisserie, you're gonna spend 200 bucks. So you're already getting that. And then the way this warming rat sits in, you sort of have this bracket. So it does just kind of lift in and out easier versus that when you have to slide it in. That's not a huge deal. You know, that's not a deal breaker for me. Let's talk about space in the grill because this is a big difference for our rotisserie. We get more vertical space in our barbecue. So our rotisserie is gonna sit up higher. So the top of our lid's about 13 inches on the LTE. On the Pro, we are almost 14 and a half or so, 15. So we gain an inch and a half, two inches. Um, and you can see when this sits in here, we're about, was that four and a half inches away from our cooking grates here? This isn't the right spit rod for this and our cooking grates are out, but I'm just going to show you. We're about three inches. So again, that vertical space is important because we can do more with our warming rack and we can do more with our rotisserie kit, which is a big deal. All right. Cooking grate time. Check this out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> These things are ridiculous. They're hexagon shaped and they are heavy and heavy duty. So by comparison's sake, let's start doing some side-by-sides here. There's your difference in cooking grates. Now, what's funny about this is the Blaze LTE has nice cooking grates, like very heavy duty but they look like little babies compared to the Pro. I mean, that's a big difference, don't you think, Chris? Yeah. Now, it's not really apples to apples because these are a lot skinnier, the width, but just for fun, let's kind of weigh, weigh this here. Let's zero this out. 11 pounds. So 11 pound cooking grate. That's silly. That's just silly. All right, so let's set our cooking grates out. We can show you some differences. Here's our dividers. Again, difference in our dividers. Big difference. Wouldn't you say, Chris? Yeah. So obviously this grill has a lot more raw materials to it, which is gonna make it more expensive. Now again, let's look at the differences. Now granted, this has to cover a bigger burner, so it's narrower, but even if it wasn't, look at that. Oh, so that brings me to another point. This grill is deeper this way too. So see that depth difference? What are we gaining? An inch, inch and a half on the depth of the grill, so we're getting more cooking space for our money. All right, so here's the biggest thing with this grill, and that's the burners. <coughs> look at this burner comparison. You kidding me? Seriously? Come on, bro. What are you doing with a burner that big? So the H burners, they produce more BTUs and I think this H style is gonna give you more even heat throughout the grill. So um, I think it goes without saying that the LT or the Pro is a much better grill. I mean, no one's trying to pretend. No one's trying to pretend that the LTZ is as good. The question is, is it worth the upgrade? Also, we get our matchlet igniters here. It doesn't look like they have connectors, but that's because they're a little more spaced apart. Um, but each burner gets their own matchlet option as well. And again, same ignition system on these grills. So the question is, is, is it worth the money to spring for the Pro? Here's what I will say. Oh, we didn't talk sizing. So that's available in a 32 and a 40. This is the 34 and 44. So respectively, they're two inches wider. Um, I would say the Pro is one of our best-selling grills that we sell across all brands. The Blaze Pro 
is one of the best sellers because it sort of fills this niche or niche. I got in trouble on YouTube. Some guy said, quit saying niche. Apparently that's not how you say it. I don't know, I'm not a grammar expert. Uh, niche, it fills a nice niche because what happens is we, there's a ton of grills and competitors in this space. And then we go to super expensive grills like um, some of our luxury grills like Heston, Lynx, uh, DCS, uh, stuff like that where now you're in the six, $7,000 range. This is like in the middle. And so it's, it's, it's dangerously flirting with the luxury category. I wouldn't quite put it in luxury, but it's dangerously flirting. It needs a few things like spring assisted hood, things like that to really get there. But it's under $5,000. I don't think you can find a grill this nice under the $5,000 price range, if that makes sense, for the 34. The 44 is more, but this guy's just under five grand, so it fills a void, and I think that's what makes it such a good seller. So if you, if you love the LTE, but you wanna spring for something nicer, but you don't wanna go crazy because you wanna stretch out your dollar, a lot of our customers like to stretch out our dollar because they have refrigerators to buy, storage drawers, side burners, and they can't just spend all their money on just the grill head. If that's you, Seriously, take a look at the Pro. I think it's great for the money. They're obviously both fantastic grills. The Blaze LTE is one of our best sellers as well um, in that category. The thing is with Blaze is, if you guys don't know the backstory on them, is they were invented by the guy who used to own and invented uh, barbecue guys. And so he saw a lot of grill brands throughout the years, obviously worked with a lot of grill brands, and he decided to make his own barbecue. And he sort of picked and choose the features that he liked that he thought were the most helpful out of all the grills and sort of combine them into the product blaze. They've since sold and now their own. You see Peyton Manning and Eli Manning all over the commercials. Their investment group bought out barbecue guys and blaze. Um, but that's sort of the backstory on them and that's why they're so good is because a lot of thought went into the manufacturing on them and they've just exploded over the last couple years as a really solid product. And especially the Pro, like I said, you know, the, the uh, Sizzler Pro uh, in the Somerset lineup, the Bull Angus, uh, the Lion Grill, you'll see a lot of similar features that you're seeing here. Here, you're not seeing a lot of features in this unless you really go up there in price. So that's my long-winded story. I do think the Pro is worth the money on an upgrade, uh, but there's nothing wrong with an LTE either. Uh, but again, I think you're getting tremendous value with the Pro because you're getting a lot of those luxury features without the luxury price tag. Hopefully that makes sense. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you guys next time.